Hi, I'm Gwen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the video today is about installing an Atari ST emulator under Windows. It was originally shot for my friend Fabio Kenobit's um, Twitch channel. So you might see a few references to that. But let's get going. Ciao! Mickey Arnold Gwen and today I'm going to show you how to download an Atari emulator for your Windows machine so you can play all your retro games and maybe do some chip tune as well. So the first thing that you need to absolutely do is go onto the internet. And the website where the emulator is stored is called steam.atari.st. And there we go. Now here on the left side, you can go down to the download section and we can roll, scroll down, and I like to use this one, the normal 3.2 version for Windows. But if you're feeling more adventurous, you might want to try Steam SSE, which stands for Steven Seagal Edition, and it's meant to be more up to date, but I find that standard 3.2 is completely robust and reliable. And then you need to download the operating system for your Atari, which is called TOS, which stands for the operating system. And with these two files, we can make a start. So I'm just going to create a plain folder on the desktop. which I will call Steam. Then I'm going to copy the contents of those two zip files. Now we are ready to run Steam for the first time. It's this file, which is steam.exe. Just hit run here. You may want to click this box so that it doesn't always ask you that. And now it goes through some setup. The great thing about Steam is it doesn't install into any Windows directory. So if you get tired of it, you can just delete your Steam folder and that's the end of it. You don't need to worry about any config changes or hidden settings that it makes. It's asking if we want to put Steam in the start menu. I personally don't want that, but maybe that's something that you're into, I don't know. Now it's asking for that operating system image. TOS 102 is an earlier version of the operating system for the Atari and it's really good for retro gaming because it's very compatible. TOS 206 is the last version that Atari released and it's got a lot more features. Um, I personally use that one for my chiptune stuff. So it depends what you're more into. I'm personally going to go with that 206 but you can always change it later. Now it's asking which directory you want to store your floppy disk images in. So the Atari, the main way that programs and games were distributed were on floppy disks. And you can create an image of those a bit like a ROM image. Um, so Steam is asking where all those are put. At this point, I will press cancel because I don't want to use any floppy disk images. But what I do want is this thing. So it's asking where your hard disk is going to be. Now the hard disks for the Atari were really, really expensive when, you know, back in the day. So it's a real luxury to have an emulated hard disk. <clears throat> and all it is, is just a folder on your, on your computer. So I'm going to create a folder now exactly for this purpose. Uh, 
and I will select yes here and select that folder that I've just created. I don't want to choose a folder for the hard disk D. I find that one hard disk is perfectly fine. And now it's ready to go, so we can run it. You'll find that Steam quite often asks you this when you run it. There are no updates available, so I always pick no. If you're running the SSE edition of Steam, then it, it won't show this box. And there we go. <clears throat> but the window is a bit small and there's some other things we can improve. Let's click the spanner icon, which is also the options menu. The machine, the only change I'm going to make is to make it a four megabyte machine. Here you can change the operating system if you want. We've already set that up to be our preferred one. In the sound menu, I like to change the output type to direct. And then here in the display, we can make that window a bit bigger. Let's go for triple size, but you can choose something else on your system which might be better. So now we click the off button to reset the emulator. And then you can see it's come back with the four megabyte setting and the other changes that we've made. So we can hit the play button. <coughs> and it's loading. At this point, the Atari does a memory test. Actually, all the Ataris do this and you can skip it by pressing any key. Brilliant. That's super exciting. The Atari is running. Let's have a look what's on the hard disk. Absolutely nothing. So let's try and put some stuff there then. Let's start with a retro game. There's a website of Atari crackers called Debug. And their website is d-bug.me. And here you can download all their cracked games. Let's go into the patches section. And here you can see a really long list of great games for the Atari. I have no idea which one to try, but let's go for Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge. Click to download it, and then all we do is copy that file into the hard disk directory that we created. And there it is. And delete the zip file. And now we'll go to the Atari. Now it's not there, so what we need to do is press the escape key. And there it is. And we can just double click on the game and it will run. Brilliant. So let's try now a different type of program. Let's try my Atari ST chip tracker, which is called Maximizer. I'll just switch off the emulator. Now you can download Maximizer at this website, pre-Roman Britain. Forward slash Maximizer. Now if we go to the download section, we can choose the latest version. And I'll save it directly in the Atari hard disk to save time.
We'll unzip it as well. And delete the zip file. Let's run up the Atari by hitting the play button. Press any key to skip the RAM test. Then we can go into the hard disk. And this time we can go into the maximizer folder. And then we can run maximizer with this program here, mym underscore 2mb. So let's run that two megabyte version of maximizer. Our emulated Atari has four megabytes of RAM, so it will easily be able to handle it. And there we go, maximizer. There's one final thing that I want to show you, some cool stuff for Atari. You can go to the website dhs.nu, which is one of the best demo scene websites for Atari. And you can download lots of cool programs here. The section files has them all. There's chip trackers, digi trackers, music players, paint programs. Definitely worth checking that one out. So I hope that was interesting for you. You can check out my stuff on uh, YouTube. And I've also got a um, Twitch channel that you can look at too. Next time we'll be covering how to do the same thing, but on Mac.